So this is talking about another curse from God to the Israelites, to the so-called blacks, right? Read on. And the fire shall be all sent out again, uh -huh. and the wild beasts shall change their places. Everything's going to be out of order. Read on. And mistress women. And what kind of women? Mistress women. And mistress women. Women that are able to get pregnant. Read on. Shall bring forth monsters. Shall bring forth what? Monsters. Monsters. What does God call our brothers out here killing each other? Monsters. He calls them what? Monsters. He calls the gang members what? Monsters. He calls these rappers out here promoting sexual deviants what? Monsters. He calls them monsters. Yes. Right there. We as a whole are monsters. This is a curse from God. God says, because you broke my commandments. Y'all want to continue to do your own thing. I told you in my Bible not to lean unto your own understanding. I told you. But y'all don't want to listen. You're stiff-necked. You're rebellious. Y'all want to stay out here doing the same things. And guess what? Y'all going to stay there until y'all change. Y'all going to stay there in the ghettos, man. Because that's your corner. The father is disciplining his children. This is our corner. He tells his children to go to the corner because we don't want to listen. We don't want to listen. Give me Hosea. Hosea chapter uh, 4 verse 6. We continue to disobey God. Our sisters want to continue to wear pants. Our brothers out here want to continue to gangbang. We don't want to change. Black people hate change. God's chosen. The Israelites hate change. But God is calling you today, sisters. Calling out to our brothers to do what? To change. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My, brother. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. God says what about his people? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. God says his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What is that knowledge talking about? Right? The uh, black people, right? We are destroyed, right? Correct. For the lack of knowledge. What is the knowledge part talking about? What, what do we lack? What form of knowledge do we lack to have us in this destroyed estate? Lack of self. Lack of self, right? Identity. Because who are you really according to the scriptures? You're an Israelite. You are an Israelite. That's correct. You're not a black woman. You are a daughter of the Lord. That God that created everything. That's who you are. That's your identity. So what comes with that? Where you at? Uh, give, give me a... What's the name? No, no, no. Uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. 12 and 10? 10 and 12. All right. So that's something that comes with your identity. There's something that comes with that. There's a requirement of God. Y'all want to get up out of here, right? Y'all want to be living lavish, right? Y'all want to live forever. Guess what? That benefit is not given to everyone on the earth. That's only given to the Israelites, the people that's currently in the ghettos. God says, if y'all wake up and keep my commandments, y'all get to live forever. Y'all ain't never going to die. Y'all ain't never gonna get sick no more. Y'all ain't never gotta pay rent no more. Y'all ain't never gotta worry about getting shot down in the streets by these police no more. If y'all keep my commandments, if y'all listen, if y'all don't do what your forefathers and foremothers did since the beginning of time, which was break my laws. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? All right, sis. So we are the Israelites. So what is required of us? That's the question. What is required of us? That's it right there. And we're going to read it for you. But to fear the Lord thy God. God says he wants you to fear him. Fear is a good thing. Fear is a good thing. Right? Just imagine people out here. You know, not having any form of fear like a lot of these gang members. They want discipline and fear. They want taught that if you do something wrong, there's going to be a consequence for it. A bad one. 
That's why they live it like that. They don't have no fear for God. God says he requires you to fear him because with fear comes respect. You are going to respect me if you fear what I'm going to do to you. Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in how many of his ways? In all his ways. You hear that, sister? To walk in all of his ways. Not just the ones that make you feel good. He said in all of his ways. We are to walk in his ways. Read. And to love him. And to do what? To love him. Uh -huh. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So just like you said, sis, you answered that before. How we get back right with the Lord, we have to do what? Say it again. We have to keep and fulfill and live out his commandments. That's right. So what you gonna do from here, sis? Are you gonna, what's your name? Tawana. Tawana. Are you gonna keep living like Tawana was before? I don't want to. You don't want to. None of us want to, sis. God is calling you today, so you ain't gotta go through what you're going through right now. All the trials that we don't know about, that we can't see in you, all of those things God says, you ain't got to suffer no more. You ain't got to suffer no more, sis. Because he see it. He see your struggle, sis. And guess what? He's giving you a way out. How we got in this position, we broke all of his commandments. We broke all of them. God is trying to save you from what's to come. He's trying to get you to keep his commandments because he's going to destroy everything that's not. He going to get rid of it. We living in the last days, y'all. We need y'all to understand. Or we, we need y'all to get a move on and, and keep in his commandments. And to keep in his will. God says a woman shall not wear pants. You ain't supposed to wear shorts, my sister. Give me a uh, modest apparel. Modest apparel. My sister, my sister right here. The Lord dealing with y'all. Right? He dealing with y'all. He's trying to communicate to y'all right now because when he come back and you ain't doing it, it's too late. That's the same thing that happened in the time of Noah. Noah went out for years, years upon years, trying to teach the people God is going to flood the earth. He gonna kill everybody. But guess what? The people, they didn't listen. When you read the scriptures, we did not listen. We said, no, I'm gonna keep... I'm going to keep doing me. I'm going to keep living like me because I like fulfilling those pleasures. I like fulfilling these sins. So we good, Noah. Noah said, all right, I'm just telling y'all what God said. And the people that kept doing what they was doing, guess what happened? God flooded the whole earth. And remember, he built the what? Um, the, the ark. The ark. And he put what? The, the clean animals, the unclean animals inside the ark. Noah and his family were the only ones, or were the only people that were able to enter into that ark. They were the only ones that listened to God. The only ones. And guess what? When that flood came, everybody was knocking at the door. Let us in. We believe you now. We want to change now. But God says he shut the door. He shut the door. And guess what? If God shuts that door for you, ain't no reopening that door. Ain't no reopening that door. So today is your day, sis. Nation is you. And fire!
Let's go! <laughs>